Hello, Jason Mazzala with FHCAM again with our monthly maintenance department update. Um, this month, what we've been focusing on, uh, as we talked about last month, was the ME262 uh, restoration. We got quite a ways on that. In fact, we've just recently moved the aircraft over to Moses Lake, Washington to uh, go for our final push into test flight certification and uh, preparation to complete that project and take it on its very first flight. Maintenance wise, uh, we've been up to kind of a lot and kind of a little because most of our efforts have been on the ME262. We haven't had very many people in the maintenance department focusing on aircraft maintenance for the collections flyable aircraft, which we have 14 of, so there's actually a lot to be done there. What we have done in that regard is upgraded our transponders to be ADSB equipped. And um, for those of you who don't know what that is, basically the aircraft has a transponder which communicates to other aircraft and to air traffic controllers where it's at, uh, its altitude, airspeed, things of that nature. And so what we've had to do is upgrade that so that that system includes GPS satellite system incorporated so that it's more accurate and you get a little bit more information. The FAA has made that mandatory in 2020 as of January 1st. So as I said, we got 14 flyable aircraft. So we have a lot of those upgrades to do. And this month, we accomplished five out of 14. We had done five previously, so we're down to the last push on those as well. The Spitfire engine has been removed for an IRAN, and what that is, it's an acronym, I-R-A-N, for inspect and repair as necessary. And we have to do that every once in a while. So many hours on the engine, or, or so long of its life, uh, that needs to, be, needs to be accomplished to make sure everything inside is, is fit as a fiddle. So that's where the Spitfire engine is, and when we get it back, we'll incorporate an annual inspection and move on with that. We have a little bit of uh, follow-up work with the ADSB to close up the five aircraft we just did, complete those, and then we'll move on to an annual inspection or two in the month of November. Also in the month of November, we're gonna start working on the JU-87 Stuka again, as well as focusing on the ME-262. So a lot of on-site and off-site work in the month of November. In any case, there's a lot going on here at the museum, and we can't wait to see you stop on by and see us in action. Until next month.